This video series will be for everyone who uses VS Code New Vim extension. And we are going to do a review of one plugin for VS Code New Vim extension, which allows us to easily manipulate multiple cursors, as well as multiple selections. We will be able to easily highlight certain parts in the code, targeting individual symbols, and then activate multiple cursors on just selected regions. Also, besides selecting just individual symbols, we will be able to highlight whole words, as well as content in between paired characters such as everything inside, single quotes. And then based on those selections, we can easily activate multiple cursors and edit text simultaneously in all those selected places. Besides doing all that in a normal mode, it's also possible to do it in visual mode. For example, we can activate visual block mode and then put multiple cursors on multiple lines, just like this. Also, there will be interesting options to specifically target individual characters by pressing individual keys that are highlighted in pink in this case. In the same way, we can also highlight certain words just by clicking corresponding keys, regardless of where our cursor currently positioned. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install VS Code Multicursor plugin for VS Code New Vim extension. By the way, we're not going to review how to install VS Code New Vim extension and how to configure it, since there is separate video series on the channel where we have configured VS Code New Vim extension in details. Before actually installing all necessary plugins, I would like to say a couple of words about VS Code extensions that I have active at the moment. So the first extension called APC Customize UI++. This extension is used to customize interface of VS Code. Next one is called Aura Spirit Dracula theme, which is my current theme. Lua extension provides support for a Lua programming language for VS Code. Since we're going to work with Lua quite a bit in this series, to configure new Vim plugins. Next extension is called Material Icon Theme, and this extension adds a bunch of icons for folders and files in the File Explorer. And finally, the necessary extension is VS Code New Vim, which makes it possible to use Vim bindings inside VS Code. Alright, so now let's move on to the installation process. And firstly, to install VS Code Multicursor extension, we're gonna have to install package manager for new Vim plugins, which is called Lazy. So to install this package manager, we just have to copy this code and paste it into new Vim configuration file. By the way, also make sure that your operating system has all necessary tools installed and that those tools satisfy provided versions. On macOS, the default path for new Vim configuration file is as follows users, followed by folder of the current user, then comes .config folder, and finally nvim folder. And inside this folder we have to put new vim configuration file, which by default is called init.lua. I'm gonna open up this file in VS Code. It is not empty. All these configurations I have explained in details in another playlist, link to which will be in the video description. That playlist is called VS Code New Vim Extension. So now I'm gonna paste the code to install Package Manager Lazy at the very end of this file. And then back to the documentation of the Lazy Package Manager, here we can see which construct we have to use in order to specify which packages we'd like to install. And now, once again, let's open up the page for VS Code Multicursor plugin. And in here, there is a code that we have to use in order to install this plugin by using Package Manager Lazy. So I'm going to copy over this code and replace current code with just copied code. And this way, we're telling Package Manager Lazy that it has to install VS Code Multicursor plugin next time when we're gonna launch VS Code. And just to be consistent, I'm going to replace all double quotes with single quotes.
And since any time we modify this configuration file, we'll have to restart VS Code. To make it easier, I have added keyboard shortcut inside keybindings.json so that I can easily restart VS Code by pressing Ctrl R. And now let's try it out. I'm going to press Ctrl R. We can see that VS Code has been reloaded. And right away we're seeing some information about the packages which have been installed by the Lazy Package Manager, which in this case only one plugin called VS Code Multicursor. So now we'll check if installation process was successful. And to put highlight on individual characters in the code, we have to press shortcut M, C, L. And we can see that place where our cursor was positioned is highlighted now. Let's just mark a couple more places where we'd like to put cursor by pressing same keyboard shortcut M, C, L. And then to turn those marked places into multiple cursors, we just have to press M, I. As we can see, cursors appeared and we can easily edit text. Let's also check that we can mark not only individual characters, but also whole words. And we're doing it by firstly placing cursor at the word we'd like to highlight and then press M, C, I, W. As we can see, the word is highlighted. Let's do it one more time by placing cursor at another word and pressing M, C, I, W. And then to turn those highlighted regions into multiple selection, we can press either M, I or M, A. After this, we end up in insert mode and can freely edit text. So that means that VS Code Multicursor plugin has been successfully installed. Link to the repository with all configuration files from this video series will be in the video description. In the next lesson we'll start exploring this plugin and see what it can do for us.